Yeah, it's early, early. My kids is still sleeping, but they're about to get up. I already been up, but not for long. And I just been thinking about what we gonna do today in homeschool. Um, and I thought I would just give y'all this tip. Um, cause right now I'm trying to teach my kids how to divide decimals. And if you really need some good examples, if you really need some good examples, let me show you how to use things around the house to divide decimals. There are some really good things around the house that you can use. For instance, um, I used a Fabuloso bottle. It have like 16.9 ounces in it. And that particular bottle was a dollar twenty-five. And so I had them to divide how much one ounce would be. And that was a really good example. So you can use any type of um I'm using liquid devices around the house because we're also talking about that uh, metal detector is getting on my nerves too. Like it has to get fixed with the quickness. But um, I say metal detector, smoke detector. Jesus. Okay, so I'm also teaching my kids um pounds and ounces and weight measurement, capacity measurement. Um, so that just works out that we're using liquid items around the house because it just flows into me talking about that also. And I'm trying to combine it all and put it in a book to complete it to be a product to sell. The problem is in the problem. <laughs> That's me getting it completed. But that's what we're going to do today. We're going to, we already have a problem that we're working on because we compared the prices of a particular item on three different home delivery sites. And so, since they're different prices, then the ounces, the fluid ounce, the fluid, the amount per fluid ounce. Is going to be different. And so that's already three problems from Amazon, um, Kroger, and Walmart. And it's just kind of fun to talk about how the prices, what the prices are, how they're different, who has what for what price. Um, on that same note, I'm looking up on the board, which is really a mirror. So it's hard to take pictures of what, you know... It's on our board for the day. And I erased it often. Where are you going, ma'am? I'm trying to get some water. Okay. So, um, so, one of the particular orders that I made, if you look on, um, homeschool model, if you look that YouTube page up, it probably won't come up. Anyway, I try to leave the link in this video. There's me with some grocery list. Um, and my kids were just doing simple adding adding the groceries up. This time we, of course, included dividing decimals. But just for fun, I threw in a game where they guessed the prices of the groceries that were purchased. And on this particular list, I have... 10, 11, 11 items, I believe. So, it was a smaller grocery list that made for a better game because it was already hard for them to put the prices correctly on each item in the first place. Um, and that was kind of fun because the items were Clorox. I could tell you the highest thing. Or I could just show you the game in another video I wanted to make like little cards for each grocery item but if I had the actual grocery item 
at the house, that would be great. So I can just show you an example of the game and another grocery list, I guess. But anyway, just like the price is right. It was just fun. Um, if I'm honest, I'm really having problems with the phones and stuff. I don't know if I mentioned this in another video, but my kids PlayStation burnt out. And although they do play their PlayStation a lot, um, I also use it for school. So that sucks. So now I'm down to just, and another computer in our house went out too. So now I'm just down to what I'm down to. But, um, so yeah, struggling with the phones and stuff, but I already took them last night for today. And I'm about to get off of here. Um, I'm just reading what's on the board. It says, what if at 6 p.m. today, September 17, 2021, the internet stopped working forever? <laughs> and I wanted them to write a story about how the next 24 hours of their life would be. Um, so they didn't do that. So they still have that to do today too. So I though have to get something for Ashlyn most definitely because she be tripping all day um, when it comes to schoolwork. But I guess that's it. I don't have anything. Well, let me take it back. I always have something for her, but I'm trying to immerse everything together. She went to get water. She ain't even back yet. Um, to explain, oh, we're also in the middle of the boys who are understanding the difference between um, liquid fluid ounces and just ounces, like in pounds. So, that's when I would turn on a PlayStation and find a really cool video or something like that. But, yeah, I still gotta do it, I guess. Um, trying to think of anything else. I ain't turn the light out. Oh, okay. But, um, yeah, I need plenty of stuff for her to do. And... And she's talking about her lungs over here hurt. Which makes me go to say how great God is. Okay, so I get to give a testimony. I guess it's testimony time. So, <laughs> yesterday when I woke up, um, it's a lady that I follow that does Bible study. And I ain't watched it in a, I haven't watched it in a while. But I was listening to her Bible study. And... When she first got on the Bible study, mind you, I'm the only one in the Bible study. Because the Bible study come on like at 6 in the morning. I just so happen to be up. So, this is like the first thing I did. So, she come on her Bible study. <clears throat> I live in Texas, okay? She live in Cali. I know that from when I was following her before. Because I knew her church was in California. So, she say, it's only God the reason that I'm up doing this. Which, you know, it's only God if you follow God. The reason that you do should be most of the things that you do. If you're really listening and following him. Um, So, she say, we had an earthquake here yesterday and I felt it. Now, I'm one of these people who, I listen to the news, 
I be screaming at the TV because they be lying so much. But I also listen to the liars because the lie be already inside of the lie packaged up for you, if that makes sense. So I listen to the news so I can tell what they lying about and what they not lying about. So the lady was so, I say, okay, so I know they finna be talking about this on the news. Because she said she had to wait to go get her gas reconnected. She said she felt it in the, the tone in her voice. So I'm saying, you know when somebody's telling the truth. So I'm like, okay, I know this is about to be on TV. I cut on the news. They not talking about that at all. They talking about the same stuff that we done heard for months and months and months and months and months and months and months. <clears throat> I go about my day trying to do the right thing. I attend my virtual Bible study group. Do that. Hang out with my kids. Relax. Then I catch another lady live who don't even do lies. She said she was just doing a lie because she got a new phone. Why you do this? Why you do this? No, it don't cover up with no socks or dress. It don't do that. So, two lives from people that I follow, I haven't been watching their videos, of course, because everybody had lives and they busy. But when you slow down, you relax. It's amazing. God is just so amazing. But anyway, so I'm listening to the other ladies' live. Really dope women who I would be following. <laughs> but anyway, so, and she's talking, and she's talking about an earthquake. She in a different city. But anyway. So. How I got back to her. Is because my daughter is sitting with somebody. Her lungs is hurting. My daughter has chronic lung disease. Okay. So. Yeah we take everything serious. She was one pound. 0 0.9 ounces when she was born. And that's not my only preemie. I have another preemie who was 2 pounds, 1 ounce. Yeah. So, when she started talking about the hydrogen peroxide in a, in a nebulizer or whatever she was saying, I would boil it on some, up the stove and put it under my daughter's nose. I do whatever it takes. But, it's like there was God to like dropping just information like that. And then she come out her room with her right now. So anyway, <laughs> I got plenty to do, but we do need to get through these problems. That's the most important thing. Like, and really who I am um, wholeheartedly, I be trying to teach my kids as much as I know as quickly as possible that they can grasp and understand from me the person who loved them the most um I've been homeschooling it's going on five or six years now but I was always homeschooling because it ain't nothing but just parenting. I was always trying to teach them something in some form of capacity. Even with my rights and wrongs, I still was t trying to teach them something. So, if that answers that question. But, like recording homeschool, like over five years, like, I got multiple channels. I got channels that done got erased. That I can't get in no more. 
in videos. I don't know if she's trying to say premiering like three, four years ago. Like, you can't come in on it. It's just a mess. Like but, um, <clears throat> that's to be surprised. That's to be. I be doing this for home videos for my kids. But they messing with my older home videos. But yeah. Oh. Last thing. And I'm really finna get over here. We also been learning Spanish. And that's funny. Because like I just come in the room and I be like. Que hora es? And Ashley be like what? <laughs> and the boys still know. You know what que hora es mean? I know what it means now. What does it mean? What time is it? That's right. What time is it? She says she know what it means now. Um, she say it a lot. And we also plus, say what it means. Plus other words that we've been learning too. So, in Spanish. So, yeah. Now I just gotta get Ashlyn more work. And that's a challenge because she don't like no work. <clears throat> Tell the people why you don't like no work this morning. Can you tell them why you don't like? It's your time, girl. You got to miss it. What? I don't. I don't like working. Cause like, it'd be late in the morning, and I just want to chill in the morning. Yep, yeah, that's pretty accurate. You just want to chill back with your phone and watch stuff that you don't need to watch and watch I ads. can't even watch TikTok. Great, that's a good thing. Because they locked me out of my channel. Oh, I think you like yourself yet. I didn't. I'm going to go on your TikTok and do uh, homeschool stuff. Okay. I'm okay with that. I said I was going to do that anyway, and then that'll be like your little, you can still use it, but, I don't know. There's people that do See, that's another job. Y'all don't understand it. There's people that do anyway, TikTok. In the name of Jesus. Um, um. At a later time. Mom.